So I am here today. I am so excited to show you one of my subscribers, Van. This I'm Debbie Walton, and my van's called the Mothership. Mothership, I love it. And my oldest daughter calls it the Nana Ship. The Nana. That makes sense. Okay. So when did you start traveling? About a year ago. It'll be a year next month. Okay. And you started following me when? About, mm, well, it might be over a year because I was following people before I started doing it by myself. I've always been a camper. I've camped for 30 or 40 years, just not by myself and not in a vehicle, more in a trailer or, you know, okay, that kind of so thing. So you've towed before. I've never towed. Um, my husband tows. I don't tow. Okay. okay. <laughs> I do have a toy hauler, but it's too hard. I can't tow it. Okay. So is this um, your first RTR? This is my first RTR. It's my second meetup. Second meetup. Mm-hmm. And yeah, mostly I've been just doing it by myself. And you're based where? I'm in um, a little town and it's right by Richfield, Utah in the central part of the state. And it is 100 miles north of Cedar City and 100 miles south of Provo. And are you going to start a local group for I think, nomads down the road? Yes, I think me and Lisa, who lives up by Tooele, are gonna get together and kind of think about that. Awesome. But I did um, register as a host, so you, you guys can contact me. I have a fairly large place. I can accommodate, you know, good-sized rigs. Haven't talked to my husband about it, but I'm sure it'll be <laughs> fine. So tell me, Debbie, what's your story? So my story is that I originally grew up on the East Coast, and um, when I was about eight or nine, we moved to California and lived there for quite a while. Then I moved to Las Vegas. I had a 35-year career in medical, um, been a medical assistant, kind of like a nurse, and I retired a year and a half ago, and my husband's not in the best shape with his back and his knees and stuff. So he doesn't want to travel anymore and I couldn't sit at home. So this is how I ended up getting into this and I'm loving it so far. I wish he wanted to do it, but he doesn't. So it's just me and now I'm starting to meet people and that's really cool. And you have a dog? I have Obi. That's him. That's the handsome guy, Obi. So he's a good traveler? He is a good traveler. As soon as I open that door, he jumps back there and gets on the bed and thinks he's just King Tut. Okay. <laughs> and do you find it convenient to travel with a dog? I don't find it hard at all, but I don't, um, I don't stealth camp, or I haven't as of yet, and I haven't camped in like towns or cities. I've mostly done campgrounds and like BLM stuff. So let's take a look at your van. Here it is. So I, I started out in a Hyundai Tucson, uh -huh. which is a small SUV. And I am very limber and it was okay, but boy was it a lot of climbing and it was really cramped. And so I just got this van at the end of October. So this is only my second trip in the van. And um, what is the make and model of your vehicle? It's a 2020 Chrysler Voyager and it's really luxurious compared to my Tucson <laughs> and it's so roomy. I mean at first I thought I was going to call it Belinda down at um, SeaWorld. They have they had Belinda the beluga whale and when I got it I <laughs> said oh my gosh this thing is so huge it's like a whale I'm going to call it Belinda but um, we settled on the mothership. <laughs> the mothership. I love it. Okay. What would you like to show first? So I just um you know, like everybody else, I do the Amazon thing. So all my purchases pretty much are through Amazon. I did the Reflectix and I sewed my material on it for the windows. Um, in my last one, I used that spray adhesive and my material did not stick very well. So I sewed those around the edges. Okay. And um, I keep my 12 volt fridge. It's a 35 um, quart fridge under there. So, and it's really nice. It's got the freezer, and you can, can it's called a Uhomi, but it's the same as an Alpacool. 
Oh, okay. And it's got wheels on it. It is heavy, so, you know, I don't take it in and out very much. But you can control the temperatures um, through an app on your phone, which is super nice. And it uses about 35 to 40 watts when it's running. Okay. The dog rides on here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is his spot. And then I just keep water and I've got my portable toilet back there. I only put it up at night. My husband, um, I found this bed on um, in Eric Enjoys Earth. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that before. And it goes down into a bed and then it folds up into these seats and it goes in the back and the front. So you can sit looking out your back or you have a place to sit up here. Now what I am noticing though is yours is narrow. Narrower. Yes. So Eric and Almost everybody I saw on YouTube that did this, they did it pretty much the whole width of their van. Yeah. And I don't need that. You know, so I just chose to do it 24 inches. And I'm not much of a seamstress or a sewer. So I got these covers on Amazon, of course. Oh. And they just go on. But what's really nice is you can take them off and throw them in the washing machine. Yeah. So that's really nice. I keep my um, solar panels here when I'm driving mm -hmm. and then I took my third row seats out so I have all that storage there um, and then this of course lifts up so I can get in there yeah. and you can sit there and gaze out at the world going by so to put it down you just kind of lift this piece slides forward so and lift it up without the cushion there so we can see the co how it's constructed so it's got piano hinges at every juncture, this is a heating pad <laughs> that I just keep under there. Good idea. Um, so there is a hinge right on this one too, but it's on the bottom side. And then there's a little tiny piece back there that's permanent. So. Yeah. Fabulous. So that's how it goes. And then on the other side, this part is the part that's permanent, it stays. So that's a lid that lifts up. And then this front part lifts up like a lid. See? So Fabulous. Get under everything. This is perfect. I just, I had to cut all these legs on the shelf because they're all way different. Uh -huh. And then I got those rubber feet so it wouldn't slide anywhere. And then, um, that's a good idea. Yeah. And then these just slide in and out and I have my music and my oven and stuff like that. And then this one's got all my coffee stuff. I keep my stove here and it fits perfectly on top okay. of this rack. Yep. And then this is just kind of a catch-all. I put my fruit and chips in there and my hot water bottle, my visors, my jammies are back there for nighttime. Is that the same netting that some people put on their um, roof up here? No, it was, um, what it's for is like to hold your stuff in the back of an SUV. It came out of my Hyundai, out of my Tucson. Okay. So it's like a cargo net. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I just utilized hooks and, you know, like the hanging things. All right. There. And then in the back, I have one of those three drawer dressers like everybody else. And it has way too much cooking stuff in it, like um, <laughs> pots and pans and dishes and stuff. And that's mostly everything that's in there. And then this has just got like my pantry items, like my bread and maybe some canned goods and stuff. And that's it. Wow. I keep my solar right here um, for, I have 160 watts of solar. And I keep my panels right here when I'm traveling. Um, what are I, you using for your um, power station? I have an EcoFlow River Max, and I think it's 640 watts. Mm -hmm. And so far, so good. Um, I have not run out of power as of yet. Nice. So I'm happy with it. And then this, I haven't figured out my back window yet, but okay. soon, someday. <laughs> it's well, really it, hard. It looked like it stayed up. It did stay up, and it covers, so it, it works for now. But I And would you're like using something. these binder clips? Uh-huh. I love those. Yeah. Binder clips for everything. Yeah. And I put those LED strip lights along the front, and it really lights it up in there. Do you see it on the roof? I do. 
and um, it's got one of those remotes and you can change the colors and the brightness and all that stuff. Is that a tension rod in the middle there? It for is. The curtain? Uh-huh. And as you know, the arms of your van are crooked, you know, lean in, so a tension rod will not stay. So what I did was took a loop of um, elastic mm -hmm. and one of those screwy upholstery pins and I made a loop with the elastic. Whoops. Oh, I see. And yeah. Yeah. And so that's just how they well, are. That's ingenious. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I keep all my toiletries right here, so they're very handy handy. Mm -hmm. At night I just set my toilet up right here. I don't use it during the day. Mm -hmm. I only set it up for night. I've got one of those shiwi things. Oh yeah. It actually works pretty good. You like that? Do you have a console in the middle of your, mm -hmm. you have a console, can you climb over that or do you not need to? I did this morning to? for the first time to start my car because I wanted to turn the heat on for a little while. Okay. Yeah, and it was chilly this morning. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wow, this is fabulous. When I first told Jeff that, um, you know, I was going to do this and I was in the SUV, he looked at me like I was an alien with my head spinning around. You're going to camp in your car? And mm. I'm like, yeah, you know. <laughs> and um, I don't think he quite understood what I was doing, but I retired a year and a half ago, and I just am not a good sitter to just sit around and not do anything. And this is really working for me, but I sure, you know, worry about him and miss him. Mm -hmm. um, oh, sure, I do too. And I, sure. I just wondered how everybody else handles that. Well, know? let me tell you something. We talk more when I'm on the road than I do when I'm at home. Because guess what? The TV's on 24-7. And I feel like I'm interrupting him, his programs, when I start talking. Kind of the same. Yeah, Jeff's on his computer or his tablet and Rawhide's playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, kind of the same thing, Elaine. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I think there just comes a time when, you know, you're just so comfortable with each other. You want them to be happy. I want him to be happy. I would love for him to take some trips with me. Yeah, I know you guys did it. And... We did. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> he he felt cramped. Yeah, well, I'm sure. Yeah, Jeff would never make it in the in the van. But we do have a toy hauler. You know, he just... He just doesn't want to do it anymore. He doesn't feel good enough to do it. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll probably still travel. Maybe we'll fly here and there and, um, you know, get a hotel. Who ca I don't care. You know? Well, great. Well, thank you for the, the advice. There's, I think there's so many women in our shoes, you know, and it is an adjustment. When I go home, it's like an adjustment for both of us again. It's like, okay, like... You know, he's all taking care of the house and everything, and I've been gone. So, do I go back and start taking care of the house again, or do I just <laughs> let him continue to do the laundry and vacuum and No, stuff? when I get home, I fall right back into things, you know, the cooking and taking care of stuff. And I stuff. do, too. It's just yeah. how we been the whole and we time. we just had our 25th anniversary, January 1st, you know, so it's not like we're newlyweds or anything and have to, have to be tied at the hip, but right. I just worry about him. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't want him to think I'm abandoning him or, you know, right. that I don't love him and not want to be with him. Oh, yeah. I definitely do. Right. You know, and just communicate while you're on the road, too, like I do. You know, he always, he follows me everywhere. <laughs> I mean, he sees everything, so. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing the tour with me and Obi. I loved it. It was so wonderful <laughs> to see you. You, too. You, too. I always love meeting subscribers. Nice. See you down the road. Down the road.